The overall goal of the following experiment is to distinguish between highly and poorly translated mRNAs by the immobilization and separation of polyribosomes. This is achieved by first adding cyclohexamide to cells to inhibit their ribosome translocation and RNA translation. As a second step, lysates from the treated cells are loaded onto a sucrose gradient and ultracentrifuged to separate the stored polyribosomes according to their masses. Next, the gradient is divided into equal fractions to separate the highly and poorly translated transcripts. In the final step, RTQPCR is used to detect the presence of the mRNAs of interest within each fraction. Ultimately, ribosome profiling can be used to detect changes in the global as well as the specific translation of mRNA in response to distinct physiological and pathophysiological stresses. Polyson profiling can answer key questions in the molecular and cell biology fields, such as which mRNAs are selectively translated during cellular stress, and how this allows cells to adapt to these conditions. Demonstrating this procedure is Mam Darofei, a graduate student in the laboratory. To use an automated gradient maker to prepare a sucrose gradient, begin by turning the gradient maker on and level the plate that will hold the gradients. When the plate is leveled, click Done. Then, to select the gradient program, open the Grad menu and select List. Click on SW41 and then scroll through the list until the 10 to 50% gradient 11 steps program is in view and press Use. Next, place an SW41 conical ultrasound.